So that was the scene, May 29, 2016, when Pope Francis honored George Clooney, Richard Gere, and Selma Hayek with a Olive Medal for Peace Award. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Matt for the Remnant Forum. And no, I'm not kidding. Three of everyone's favorite Hollywood lefty liberals, George, George Clooney, Richard Gere, and Selma Hayek, being uh, given the royal treatment by the Holy Father. Did you ever think you would live to see the day? It was a star-studded event hosted by the Pontifical Foundation Francis himself, established back in 2013, the World Congress of Scolas Ocherentes, which is a network that works in schools all around the world and with all religious denominations, of course, to help children socially integrate into their various cultures. Just another liberal left cause being advanced by this most disturbingly liberal pope of ours, Pope Francis. But, but, but you, you saw the footage. I mean, this happened. This isn't Photoshop. It's not bad translations. It's not media spin. It's just the cold, hard, depressing reality that far-right, liberal, wacko, anti-Catholic Hollywood superstars are among the very first candidates ever selected for this prestigious papal award. And please, please, there was nothing said here that had anything to do with trying to reach out to the Mary Magdalene's and the tax collectors. He was just trying to reach them. No, he's not. There's no effort being made to reach them. They're all on the same page. They're all far left. He supports them, he supports their movies, he supports the cause that they all share. I mean, this says as much about Pope Francis as anything else does. That these days, that these lefty loonies, Gear Hayek and, and, and George Clooney, would even accept an invitation from the Catholic Pope in the first place. Why? Because obviously, as far as Clooney, Hayek, and Gear are concerned, this is not their grandmother's pope. This is not their grandmother's Catholic church. Folks, something has happened here. The church is not only under assault, she has changed. She has moved to the left so significantly that she is re receiving the stamp of approval from the Hollywood left. These three nutters were selected because of their stellar work in the areas of, according to the Vatican, climate change. Does anything get more left than that? War, terrorism. Which means now, after this has happened, that Clooney, Hayek, and Gear, incredibly, will act as our Vatican ambassadors moving forward from here. <laughs> what do you do with this? How much, how much worse does it have to get? How much more absurd does it have to get? I don't know how the Vatican selected these three winners, one of whom is a Buddhist, and the other two are fallen away Catholics, yes, apostates, but these three characters got the nod. Now George Clooney, there's a great example of a role model for the kids around the world, holiness. He was raised in a devout Catholic family. He doesn't have any excuses. He used to go to confession every week, he claims. But then he decided the Catholic Church wasn't for him. He slipped away. He left it. He abandoned it. He's been attacking it ever since. Now I don't know what he is. Some sort of an agnostic, obviously, but maybe an outright atheist. Recently told the press, quote, I don't believe in heaven and hell. I don't know if I believe in God. All I know is that as an individual, I love that, as an individual, as opposed to what, a collective? As an individual, I won't allow this life, the only thing I know to exist, to be wasted, end quote. That's so deep, George. Man, I, I just respect you. So sophisticated, so cool. And you haven't been wasting a second of your little life there, have you? Why, with all the time you've put into supporting gay marriage, donating insane amounts of money to Planned Parenthood, and ridiculing every one of us who defends Christian marriage. Yeah, you've been a busy little camper. Did I mention, by the way, that George Clooney is also a big believer in forcing states to adopt laws that allow men to use women's showers, bathrooms, and locker rooms? Yeah, he's one of those, too. Now, I'm sure that the Holy Father must have overlooked that. He wouldn't have gone through and awarded the guy who was on the wrong side of this issue with respect to the bathroom controversies and Target stores in North Carolina. He wouldn't have done that, would he? No, 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 never. It's just a coincidence, an oversight. Clooney just happens to agree that there should be no laws protecting my little girls and your little girls from being chased around bathrooms by sexual perverts. That's what Clooney believes. But this doesn't make him any less deserving of an award from the hand of the Holy Father. Of course not. Don't be silly. After all, George believes in climate change. 
And what can be more important than that? What is a bigger moral issue or moral imperative than doing something about the climate? Good choice, Francis. Well played. Don't you see what's happening, folks? Francis didn't stumble on this. Francis isn't trying to convert anybody. This isn't Mary Magdalene and the, and the, and the tax collector. Francis agrees with these people. Francis is a lefty. They agree with him. He agrees with them. It's a great marriage, if you will. It's, a, it's, it's an alliance. He's bragging about it all the time with his anti-capitalism and his, his soft, going soft on abortion and contraception. He's bragging about it. And it's not just Clooney. I mean, this character, Selma Hayek, also raised Catholic, but she's ditched the church too because of her pro-homosexual stance and because she believes the Catholic Church is killing people in Africa with the, with the anti-condom stance and this moral teaching. And so she's not just somebody who, who don't, doesn't go to church every Sunday or who you know, maybe doesn't do her Easter duty. Selma Hayek is a public activist. She's an anti-Catholic activist. Because she was Catholic at one time, she feels she can tee off on the Catholic Church whenever she wants, and she does, which raises the question, why is she being awarded by the Pope? Why? <laughs> and then there's, there's Richard Gere. But for, for heaven's sakes, I mean, everyone... Everyone this side of the Yukon knows what Richard Gere thinks and his nutty philosophy and his nutty politics. There's no reason to even go into it other than to ask the question, Richard Gere, really? Being awarded by the Pope? You know, you know honestly, folks, if, if someone were to ask me, as a father of seven children, which marquee Hollywood superstar movies I would be least likely to allow my kids to watch, honestly, it would be those produced, acted, directed, whatever, by George Clooney, Richard Gere and Selma Hayek. They'd certainly be on the short list. I mean, maybe, what, Sean Penn might be a little higher? I can't think of a whole lot of actors who would be any higher on the list of movies you won't want your kids, you don't want your children getting involved with. Because these people are activists. They're not Sylvester Stallone. They're not just, you know, marquee. They're not just action heroes or something. They're activists using their trade, using the medium of movie making and so forth to push an agenda. They're ideologues. Selma Hayek's 1999 film Dogma, for example, is a comedy, for heaven's sakes, which even according to the Wikipedia entry on the movie, it was viciously anti-Catholic and anti-God. Quote, the film's irreverent treatment of Roman Catholic Church triggered considerable controversy, even before its opening. The Catholic League denounced Selma Hayek's movie Dogma as blasphemy, and organized protests delayed the release of the film in many countries around the world. End quote. Again, Holy Father, well played, well played. No scandal here, nothing to see, no sir. Just a Pope Francis handing out awards to the most outspoken Catholic bastards in Hollywood. Not a big story. Let's just move on. Uh, it's an incredible scandal, folks. Incredible. Don't get used to this. Don't get used to these scandals. Continue to raise your voice against them. As LifeSite News put it with respect to this story, quote, by honoring activists like Clooney, Gear, and Hayek, Pope Francis is undermining the Catholic faithful's effort to preserve the faith. He's making our job next to impossible. By honoring the enemies of life and the natural family, the Pope is playing a part in the cultural destruction going on all around us. This is truly a scandal of immense proportion much more damaging than Notre Dame's Obama debacle because it involves the endorsement of the Vicar of Christ himself, end quote. So says LifeSite News, and I couldn't possibly agree more. Well, speaking in the Paul VI Synod Hall, the Pope reminded George Clooney, Richard Gere, and Selma Hayek of their responsibility to, quote, help the world recover the language of gestures, end quote the world recover the language of gestures heck what is going on he, he encouraged gestures such as smiling and making eye contact and being patient and tolerant in contrast says the Holy Father quote bullying is an aggression that hides a deep cruelty the world is cruel to build a new or new world a better world we must banish all kinds of cruelty." End quote. 
Confucius say, banish all kinds of cruelty. What, what is this, poping by fortune cookie? Does, 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 this, does this pope ever say anything that doesn't sound like it was lifted right from the talking points of an MSNBC primetime show? Or a, a stump speech by Hillary Clinton? Or a policy paper by George Soros? Now, after honoring these three pro-aborts and gay marriage advocates in Rome last Sunday, the Pope used that same event to launch his latest initiative, which is a new website which allows anyone to ask Pope Francis questions anywhere in the world. Well, isn't that great? Another humble gesture from the most humble Pope in the history of the human race. We can ask him anything we want because he cares about us. So askpopefrancis.org is now available to all of us. And check it out. Maybe we should all use it. We should ask the Holy Father if he ever intends to actually start acting like a Catholic again, because that might be nice. In the meantime, we hope and pray that sanity is restored to the eternal city sooner than later. God help us sooner than later. For the Remnant Forum, I'm Michael Matt. Be sure to follow the Remnant on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, stop by our website every day. These things are happening so fast now that we have new stories going up every couple hours, it seems, at remnantnewspaper.com. Keep the old faith. Pray for us as we will pray for you, and we will see you next time. God bless you.